this, this is his legacy. This is Gary Speed's legacy. He was the man who set it all off. I think a lot of them are playing for Gary Speed still as well. Never be forgotten. Never. Never. Yeah. The work that we've done behind the scenes, the work we've done with the players on the training pitch has been fantastic. And their application has, has been brilliant, so that belief's always been there. I knew Speeds very, very well outside the football. Since we were 10, we had a very good friendship. The top guy. You know, he was respected and loved, you know, throughout the football family. He remains his country's most capped outfield player. Six years ago, aged 41, Gary Speed was named Wales manager. The state of Welsh football was in the doldrums at that time, and Gary got it all together. Speed had hope because he'd seen the future in a talented group of younger players. His first competitive international was against England. 20-year-old Aaron Ramsey would be his captain. The player who I used to watch and who I used to always uh, admire, you know, the work they used to put in, the passion they used to play with, was Gary Speed. He's a fantastic player with, with loads of potential and when he goes out on that pitch, his personality shines through. Gary Speed made people want to be passionate to wear that Welsh shirt again, to actually play for their country. He revolutionised the football for Wales. He got hold of the whole structure and flipped it upside down and said, we're going to start doing it properly. Sports science has been around for quite a while, but Wales didn't have it. And that's what he introduced. And he introduced a new way of playing. Well, that's what really ignited it. After a faltering start, Speed's new team would make a major impact. Winning four games running, they were FIFA's top movers of the year. In November 2011, they thrashed Norway 4-1. The way they've applied themselves over the last six or eight months has given me even greater belief that we can go on and be successful. Good evening, friends and teammates of football legend Gary Speed speak of their sadness and bewilderment at his death. You, you will never get over what happened. You learn to live and deal with it a bit better as time goes by, but you never get over it. Our players thought a hell of a lot of him. They were impacted greatly by what happened, you know. Obviously, with the, the news that happened, we thought that was going to be the end of the legacy. In January 2012, Chris Coleman was appointed Wales manager. Coleman spoke with Gary's family before taking the job. Chris has come in and he's, he's done an amazing job. He's continued that rise that we've had before and we've been playing with each other for, I think, eight, ten years now. Our team spirit and our character gets us through everything. We talked about being the golden generation when it started under Speedo, but you're never that golden generation until you actually do it. Where does Welsh football rank now in the affection of the nation? It's a brave statement. I think it's above rugby now. And the Welsh rise and rise oh. over the last five years goes back to... Gary Speed. Across France, there have been visual reminders and tributes. Together, stronger, they've made history. Gary will be proud up there watching over us. He'd have absolutely loved it. He was a proud Welshman. He captained every football team he ever played for, so that tells you what type of man he is. He's here with us, we know that. I can't say that, yeah, I'm going to be thinking about speeds in this tournament, because I think about him all the time anyway. We talk about him still and have a laugh and a giggle. And I'll never forget speeds.